Okay, in this video we're checking out another flight controller here from a new company, a relatively new company I believe, or at least one that I haven't heard of yet. Uh, it's called FlyWoo, and this was the FlyWoo F405 flight controller. comes in two variants. There's the uh, 32K gyro version, which is the one I'm showing you here, and there's one that has the AK MPU 6000 gyro. And basically, it, the gyro is on a board here with a ribbon cable, and you can obviously on the 8K version with the MPU 6000 gyro, this board will have the MPU 6000 gyro. This one here is the ICM 20689 gyro. Uh, the 32K gyro, I don't know which ones are the good ones and which ones are not. Somewhere there's a list out there that exists that has that, but it has nice vibration isolation here. And it's on this little foam padding, as you can see here. So uh, any vibration issues shouldn't be a problem for this particular flight controller. Uh, it does come with a wiring loom to go to your ESCs there, and that's uh, this little connector here. You do have also the uh, this little rubber mounting uh, M3 screws. Basically, it's like a standoff screw that also uh, provide additional vibration dampening. You get an extra ribbon cable in case uh, that should break. And then you have an extra piece of foam there for the gyro if you need to switch the gyro for whatever reason. And then you do have... Uh, some nice documentation that comes with this here, board layout along with um, pretty much all of the connections are listed here. I think they're also silk screened on the board and then also a description of what all the uh, different outputs are on the, on the board itself. So shouldn't be any really any question as to what's what on here. Uh, this weighs about a little over eight grams if you guys are curious. Obviously, you're going to connect to your 4 in 1 EC or something like that through this wiring loom here, this connection here to the bottom of the board. This is the bigger F4 chip, which is why it's called the F405. The smaller one, as you guys probably know or don't know, maybe, is the F411. That's like the smaller version of the F4 chip. Uh, I believe this is a black box. I think it's 32 um, megabits of black box uh, chip data there. And you have your Betaflight OSD chip there. And I think that's a barometer there. This one, this, this board does come with the the barometer. As you can see here, it's a 30 by 30 board, of course. Um, all of the, or most of the mounting holes, or mounting points are, are uh, I guess they're sort of called through holes. So your wires go through if you want to solder that way, instead of the solder pads, which is what I like. Obviously, what you like is going to probably depend on who you are. But you can see and all of these things are nicely labeled here. Which is uh, solder pads for your motor wires if you're using like individual ECs, for example, instead of 4 and 1 buzzer, LED, 5 volt to ground here, etc. This does have two uh, voltage regulators, a 5 volt and a 9 volt, which is nice. I think that's kind of the standard now. And if you see the connections here, and I think this is the front of the board going this way, you have ground 5 volts, video in and FC. So this is all the connections for your camera. Video is from your camera. It provides 5 volts to your camera. And then FC here is camera control. If you happen to have one of those cameras that you want to use uh, Betaflight camera control to change your camera settings via your transmitter, that pad is provided here. And so that should be already set up for that. And then on this side here is where the 9 volts come out. So you have your ground 9 volts video out to your VTX. And then I think that the T4 there is going to be for like smart audio. So if you have smart audio on your video transmitter, you're probably going to use that. So it's all nicely laid out here and ready to go. And then you have a, a TX3 and a RX4 there for some of the other UARTs. And by the way, this board does come with five total UARTs. And uh, it doesn't use your typical F4 targets. This one has its own F4 target and beta flight. It's called the FlyWoo F405, of course. <laughs> corresponds to the name of the board and I did check that uh, they are doing um, uh, development on it so it is in the current development tree for Betaflight 4.0 I did check that so if you're worried about uh, whether this is going to be for Betaflight 4.0 ready it is in the development tree for that so this board is supported in 4.0 and then here is the solder connections here on the side you have RSSI ground 3 volts 5 volts and your other UARTs, and again, I set five total UARTs, so you're going to have uh, pretty much uh, everything you need. Receiver, um, camera control, smart audio, ESC telemetry, five UARTs should, should uh, pretty much have you covered. 
and I believe UART1 is the one that's going to be inverted and the rest of the UARTs are uninverted. So if you guys are wondering about that, uh, that's how I think this is, or board is set up. Yeah, so anyway, let's go a quick, quick look at this board here, the F405 from Flywoo. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's available in a variety of different places. This one was sent to me directly by Flywoo. I kind of was wondering if they had a 401 EC, but I couldn't find one. They do have a, another board here that has like the solder pads for individual ECs on the corners. I believe that's based on the same target as well, but they didn't send me that board. So um, I believe that they also send that sell that to the same places like Gearbest and Banggood. Anyway guys, the board does look pretty good. I'm probably going to use this in something at some point in the future. Not sure when. Um, yeah, but if you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.